Yo, 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 it's your boy Ram. I'm gonna show you guys how to make your Brawlhalla run better, how to make your network a little bit smoother, uh, basically how to increase your FPS, all that. This is gonna be a super quick video, but these are some things that I do immediately when I have a new computer or like when I reset my windows. Basically, I have a file for you guys here. These are some, these are some registry tweaks. Um, this is basically the same as going to your registry editor here and following these addresses in the URL bar without the file at the end. So like this, for example, uh, you see you have all these performance settings. This will basically um, increase the CPU priority to high. You don't want it higher than high. You don't want it real time. Um, this will set the CPU priority to high, basically the same as in your task manager which you can't do manually anymore after easy anti-cheat. So this is a way to give it a little bit of that CPU boost. Um, for these other ones, these are basically net network tweaks. So I do recommend that before installing this file, which I will put in the description, by the way, um, that you go to these this key. So basically you copy this, you go to your registry editor, you paste it in the bar here, you hit enter. And basically, always make a backup of your registry before you change anything. So for these two, you're not going to have these keys yet. You don't need to make a backup of them. You can always just go back here and, you know, change this value or delete the key if you don't like what it did. Uh, but for these two, this one, I recommend that you right click export, you know, save the file somewhere so that, you know, should it for some reason make your performance worse. You can always just double click your exported file and you'll be able to restore the settings that you had. Same for this one, just copy this, go here, make a backup before you install it. So basically copy this, paste it here. In interfaces, right click, click export, save the file. Basically back that up before you install this. And then I'm gonna put this file uh, in the description. Then you can just uh, you can just download it, double click it. It's gonna ask you if you wanna add it to your registry. Make sure you've backed it up first, these two keys, and then just hit yes, and you should be good to go. Now that's the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing I wanna show you is your launch options. Now, personally, I use no skulls, just cause I don't really need skulls, and I figure, you know, if there's a check not to render skulls on bombs, maybe it gives you a very tiny uh, performance increase. You want to use FrameFix Unbounded. Alternatively, you can also use FrameFix without the Unbounded. I don't know really what the difference is, but I just kind of use them both interchangeably. This time I went for Unbounded, you know. Then you can use Set FPS, uh, and I would recommend just setting it to your monitor's refresh rate. So if you're not sure what your refresh rate is, I suggest you just put it to 60. Because there's no point in running something at a higher FPS than your refresh rate, basically. Uh, you want to use these launch commands, I will put them in the description. There's also the launch command unlock FPS, but you can take it from me that unlock FPS does the exact same thing as setting your FPS to 1000, and I don't think that's something that you really want. Uh, so yeah, the, there's the launch option. You wanna, you know, you can try the tech test beta. It runs on a different engine. You can, you know, you see it starts re-downloading. You know, back in the day for people that used Special K, it required you to be on the tech test. But now with easy anti-cheat, you can't really use Special K anymore if you still wanna play ranked and stuff. Of course, if you don't play ranked, you can disable easy anti-cheat by adding the no EAC launch command, which will launch the game without easy anti-cheat, but then uh, you can't play any ranked modes, basically. If all you do is play experimental, you know, feel free to disable the anti-cheat and you should also get better performance. Or, you know, if you do couch games or something. And uh, lastly, there's a program called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. I'll put a download link for this in the description as well. Uh, basically, every time you play Brawl, you want to open this. You want to have these settings, just set this to 10 and you can have the polling rate on a thousand. You click start and that's it. You can just like minimize it. It'll go to your system tray 
And that should make your Brawlhalla run a little bit smoother. So I think that's about it. Uh, let me know in the comments if your game runs any smoother. Uh, I hope this helped. Uh, I'll try to make more videos, you know, guys. But uh, yeah, hope it helped.